Hey YouTube, it's Budget Bug Out, and this has been a year of uh, attempted knife flagship assassinations. So let me explain. So a lot of y'all know about the Paramilitary 2. Well, the Para 3 came out from Spider Co. So a lot of people were wondering, is the Para 3 a Para 2 killer? Whenever the uh, Griptilian Freak came out, I did a video on it as well. Um, I did videos on all these, um, by the way, that I'm going to be talking about. But this is the, the Benchmade Freak, and people wanted to know, is that a Griptilian killer? And then uh, whenever, so this is the uh, Kershaw leak, and whenever the dividend came out from Kershaw, people wanted to know if, they were, if that was a leak killer. Um, and you guys can check out my videos, uh, my thoughts on those. I'll leave them in the description box down below. Um, let's go ahead and start with the original and I'll uh, annotate things like the stats and stuff uh, down below. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and dive into it and I'll compare the two. So this is, like I said, the Almar Ultralight Talon uh, and, or, or Falcon rather, um, Talon. And uh, one of the things first off that makes this knife so great is how lightweight it is. Basically, weighs nothing so that is the probably the biggest draw to this knife um, especially for the amount of blade that you're getting which once again is 3.1 inches the uh, the handle is is, is smooth it, it, you don't get a lot of texture or anything like that um, but it uh, it's, it's comfortable enough I, I wear medium-sized gloves and my hands don't feel like they're too big or too small or anything like that um, you, you have a back lock design which is you know, great because that makes this knife ambidextrous. You got thumb studs on both sides, um, and you can actually move the pocket clip to either side. So whether you want to keep this clipped in your right or left pocket, you know, it's totally up to you. Um, it's very smooth uh, the way that you're able to uh, to close that lock up, and um, it the way that it opens um, that thumb stud really does uh, uh, catch on your the pad of your thumb really really well. Um, I like the, the the grind is good. You know it slices well. You got a swedge up here. Um, not no really uh, complaints other than the thumb stud um, because of how far it sticks out. You can see um, compared to the width of the handle, you can see um, you know, this thing catches like, for me on my pocket whenever I'm pulling it out, uh, especially whenever I'm sitting down. Um, other otherwise, you know I have don't really have any uh, major complaints about this knife. Um, it's, it's a relatively new knife for me. I bought both of these at the same time, you know, a couple weeks or so ago. Um, been carrying them, rotating them every, my, to my everyday carry system and uh, like them a lot. Um, although the, it, basically the smoothness of that pivot is pretty much perfect, there's no way to adjust that um, with a hex wrench or anything like that. So something to consider. Um, it does stick out of your pocket a little bit as well. So. Moving on to, like I said, the uh, Kershaw-Almar collaboration of this knife, and I'll show you guys those stats down below as well. Um, but first and foremost, the, the biggest difference between the two, in my opinion, is the fact that it has a flipper. Um, also, I feel like the ergonomics are a little bit better uh, when open because of that tang, um, that flipper right there. Um, it, just, it just feels a little bit more ergonomic and kind of holds in a little bit better. It is a, uh, it's very similar to the leak where that it has a, a spring assist opener. Um, it's not manual, although it doesn't uh, whip out as fast um, as the leak. And um, you got very similar blade style as, uh, as the original, but the back. Um, you might notice it's going to be a little bit different because this has open pillar uh, construction. You got red, red anodization uh, over here as well on these back spacers, which uh, kind of adds a really cool accent. And it's going to be really easy to clean this with, you know, Q-tip or, or cloth or whatnot uh, compared to uh, to this knife here. So it's still possible, but uh, kind of a kind of a big big difference in my opinion. Um, another difference is uh, yeah, this is going to be a little bit heavier, although it's still extremely lightweight, and um, it's a little bit more rounded, uh, the handle scales feel, um, so I think that they're even more comfortable. And you got jimping here on the spine of the blade, which you don't have on, uh, on this one here. 
Um, once, you know, once again, I picked, it, picked this up and I can feel the difference in, in the weight. Although, um, your pocket will feel a difference in the price because this is around $20 uh, compared to this, which is around $100. Um, so there is that. Um, moving on to uh, uh, the, the pocket clip, you can see that it is deeper carry here. Um, and you, but you cannot move that uh, to either side. So if you're left-handed, that could be a, a potential con for you. Um, but those are the main differences. Uh, this slices really, really well. Um, this is still kind of the, you know, my first look at these knives. Um, but I will say that the same issue that I have with the thumb stud on this one, I do not have with this because it is smaller. Um, let me close this so I can show you all. Um, this one sticks out, this one not so much. So, um, but that being said, you can't really open it using a using the thumb studs very easily, anyways. Um, but anyways, guys, I my my final thought is that I be, do believe this is uh, a better knife all around design than uh, this one. Although this is better with the weight, I think everything else, including especially the price, is better with this one. And honestly, if you guys were considering purchasing the leak or wanted a budget version of or a beater version beater knife version of it you might want to consider purchasing this because I think this might even be better than the leak um, I, I just, just an all around great knife um, guys but let me know what you guys think I'll leave links in the comment section down or the description box down below y'all stay safe out there and remember it pays to be repaired God bless